Hi everyone, my name is Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca. Today we're looking at all the nasal masks on the market, testing them all out and seeing which ones are the quietest and which ones have the best diffusers. So to test everything, we have a decibel meter here that I tested all the masks on and then for the the diffusion, I have an anemometer here. Now I use these two devices to test these wind noise and the, the decibels um, to find out which masks work best. How I did this was I basically sat on the couch and tested all the masks on with this AirSense 11, tried to keep everything as steady as possible. With the decibel meter, I had it on a pillow trying to mitigate any like rustling movement. Uh, what I found that was the best way and then wore all the masks. And then for the anemometer, I basically tried to put it as close as I could to the exhaust and kind of move it around where the most exhaust was coming from and see what the max rating was. So for example, if I turn this on here, if I blow into there, it says my blow was 4.08 meters per second. Uh, so basically did that all over the mask as much as I could and then it would spit out basically the max. First off, we have three categories of the nasal mask, the on-nose nasal mask, the hollow frame nasal mask, and the pillow slash cradle mask. Of course, the pillow, you can have pillows in the hollow frame option, but I had to divvy it into these segments because it's the only way this video is gonna make sense. Now, in terms of airflow, we basically saw a 0.5 meters per second is basically the lowest best diffuser. And that is basically like a light, like, like maybe even exhale. So if you put out your hand and just exhale and you can barely feel the wind, that's the diffuser we're talking about at a 0 0.5. And then at, the highest we went up to was about five, even a little over five meters per second. Um, and that's gonna be like, like if you're blowing air into your hand, like, like blowing out a candle, uh, that's basically um, gonna be a, a five meters per second. Now in terms of the audio, everything was measured pretty much the same way. I was sitting here with the mask and this was on a pillow kind of on my lap and listening to kind of this entire thing going on. So we didn't really see a huge fluctuation in decibels, but we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so let's get cracking. First category, on nose nasal mask, we're looking at the Wisp. Okay, so this is the Wisp here. And the Wisp had 35 to 43 decibels, depending on the inhale, exhale at a wind speed of 5.1 meters per second. So very high in the wind speed there. When you're wearing this mask, you definitely feel the wind around you. This one honestly kind of like blows air kind of up. So you can, I honestly felt it in my eyelids when I was wearing this mask. Uh, so if you are sensitive to wind noise, uh, the wisp does blow. Uh, the next one we had was the N20 by ResMed. Uh, both the Air Touch and the Air Fit versions, I averaged both because they were very similar. Wind noise, 5.5 uh, or wind speed is 5.5. Coming out of here, you just have a bunch of exhaust ports here, no felt diffuser or anything like that. And this N20 actually is the highest wind speed out of all the nasal masks on this test. So it lost basically at this category dramatically, okay? That being said, it is the quietest in the on-nose nasal category at 35 to 39 decibels. At last, we have the Eson 2 here. Now this guy has felt in the front and boy, does it make a difference at a wind noise of 1.21 meters per second, a very, very faint kind of just a light blow uh, and the decibels are 36 to 42. Yeah, in terms of real world, I would say the Wisp and the Eson are both around the same loudness. So for the winner in this category, amongst the three, I'm gonna have to give it to the Eson because the Eson has a dramatically lower wind speed than the other ones. The other ones are actually the worst on this entire list, uh, whereas the Eson is very respectable at 1.21. And then the quietness level, it's not as quiet as the N20, but it's pretty close. I think if these types of disturbances are bothering you, you'd wanna go with the Eson. Okay, the next category is our minimal pillow slash cradle mask, starting with the Nova Micro by FNP. So this guy got 2.62 meters per second at 41-ish decibels. Um, so pretty good, pretty decent performance all the way around, um, but 2.62 you'll see in this category is actually quite high, even though it seemed low based on our, our, our previous category, okay? The next one we're gonna talk about is the Evora Nasal. So this guy in this category is the worst when it comes to wind noise, just because these diffusers, both on the Micro and the Evora, they're just a bunch of holes. There's no real felt or anything like that. There's no like overlapping plastic to break it down. So it got 2.88 meters per second for wind speed and then 45 
uh, for loudness. So this guy actually lost both categories in this segment here. It's, it was the loudest and had the most wind. P10 did fairly well in the wind speed at 1.6 due to because it has like a plastic made diffuser here. Now that being said, this diffuser, some people have said that it's a little hard to breathe out of, especially if it gets dirty and grimy. It's really hard to exhale out of here. So you have to make sure that it's clean, um, but it does work as a diffuser because it does diffuse the air at 1.6 meters per second. Uh, and then it is the quietest mask out of this category at 41 decibels. Next up, we have the N30. The N30 has the best Yes, the best diffuser in this category at 0.64 meters per second. Now, to explain how good of a diffuser that is, here I have my wind meter. Like the gentlest exhale, like will spin the fan, right? And I was really trying hard to spin like the little turbine here. Um, I was putting it as close as I could, moving it around, trying to find the absolute most perfect wind current, and then it finally moved. So 0.64, incredibly good for a diffuser, 42 on the higher end in terms of decibels there. And then at last we have the Bravita here. Now I like the Bravita because it has actually a removable diffuser on the diffuser. So you got this felt one as well as just a bunch of these holes here. But it's nice because you can exhale out of it easier if you don't have the diffuser on. So people with COPD or something like that might want to take this guy off, but it does come with it, which is really nice. So for wind speed with the Bravada, it's been getting uh, 0.85 meters per second. Again, extremely slow. That's pretty much exactly like the N30. And then 43 decibels on the higher end there uh, for noise. So the best overall mask in this category, I would have to say would be the N30 uh, because it had by far the best diffuser and one of the lowest um, sounds or, or volumes. That being said, the N30 for me at least, and for I would say a variety of people, leaks more than the P10. And in that case, it's gonna be the most windy, right? Um, so it's hard to really say that's the number one. I would say that in this category, just looking at this stuff, I would have to say the N30, the P10, and the Brevida did the best, just overall, whatever fits your face the best. And then the Micro and the Evora, uh, great mask, a lot of pros for those masks, but because of the lack of a good diffuser on there, they are the most windy and the noisiest in this category. All right, now for our last category here, the hollow frame masks. Okay, so starting off this category, we got the P30i. P30i has a diffuser that's somewhat of a similar design uh, as the N30, as well as the P or the N30i, very similar diffusers. And they got pretty much sim very similar scores. So at the front here, because there's no tube, nothing connecting at the front, um, and you have kind of the additional exhaust at the top here, at the top here as well. When I measured the wind speed down here at the diffusers, they were 0 0.57 and 0 0.3 five. So some of the, basically the lowest scores of anything on this list. So if you're someone who really hates any wind blowing in your eyes on the blanket or whatever, these two guys here by far blow the least amount of air in this area. That being said, it does blow a little bit of air at the top. Uh, and with that at the top, you're ranking pretty highly, actually. All of these mask blow about a 2.5 to 3.5 meters per second at the top. So they are blowers at the top. So if you have a partner, um, you know, and your kind of head's kind of tilted oddly at them, you might be shooting them with the air. But for you, the person wearing the mask, honestly, this, this air blown back here or up here doesn't bother me, doesn't bother a lot of people. Um, it's just kind of shooting off into space. And then you have like no air blowing around your face, which is really, really nice. So these two here, very low on the wind speed. And then in terms of decibels uh, ranging from 38 to 42 decibels for both. Now, that being said, this decibel meter doesn't really work. I tried to get a accurate reading. Uh, down here it was like 38 to 42, trying to move around, trying to figure out how I could get any testing on what the noise I was hearing is. And, and, and the reason why is because these guys run next to your ear on your face and there's a vibration there. So if I were to scratch maybe my sideburn here, I can hear it, it's quite loud, but a decibel meter is not really gonna pick it up because for the real world, it's quiet. Just, it sounds loud because it's on my head. And that's the issues with these masks. So I did rate them uh, in terms of the decibels. I did calculate their decibels from this guy here, but I don't really know what else to say. It's hard for me to explain what these masks sound like if you've never tried them on, but they are the loudest style of mask out of this entire category. So keep that in mind. Not bad loud, not like annoying loud, but you can hear kind of the air of your CPAP going in the mask as opposed to kind of just in front of you there. And the other mask here, 
I'll just speed through this because these are all very similar as the Dreamware lines, the Dreamware pillow, the Dreamware cradle, and the Dream Wisp line. And they don't really have a diffuser. Uh, they just kind of have like this uh, straight hole at the front. And uh, not surprisingly, they do incredibly poorly on the wind speed test. 4.25 meters per second for the Dream Wisp. Uh, four and four pretty much on the dot for the cradle and the pillow, 3.92 meters per second if you really care. Um, but yeah, so about four meters per second for all these masks. And like I said, that's like, that's a solid blow. So if, if that's kind of hitting the pillow slash hitting the blanket in front of you, you're gonna feel that ricochet for sure. Um, and then of course, at the top here, you have also the exhaust of around three to five uh, meters per second as well. If you're sleeping with a partner and they don't like wind on their face, don't get one of these masks because they are really bad for that. I actually do like the Dreamwear Cradle. I think it's a great mask, but in terms of airflow, it's definitely the weak point of that mask. Um, and also the Dream Cradle, for some people online, as well as me, gets random whistling sometimes. So you can see it in the video. and there is a little bit of whistling which kicks it up but i didn't count that as the decibels ratings um i had to adjust a couple times and then it went away so i didn't adjust that and then for all these masks you're getting 37 to 45 ish decibels um and therefore they're kind of average with everything else but again it's a hollow frame mask so it's a little louder than this indicates so for this category, the best hollow frame mask would be the P30i and the N30i uh, for this segment. It's basically, it's no contest essentially. The ResMeds have a great diffuser on the front. Uh, the Philips doesn't have any diffuser on the front. That's basically the result. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know if uh, your experiences with these masks, if you've ever had a problem with any of these masks blowing air at your partner or at your face. And see you later. Sleep well.